afternoon and welcome to Ghana. The weather forecast is 36 degrees today and it is really hot. I uh, just want to talk about um, transport here. So when you come to Ghana, I think you'll find that uh, there's a few ways to get yourself around. It's all a bit rustic and um, that's mainly because the road conditions here are pretty poor. Uh, the main roads are, are pretty good. Um, the secondary roads, which are bitumen, have big potholes, and then the, the third tier roads, which are like mostly gravel, are just a disgrace, but um, there's a lot of work under construction here, so the roads are pretty poor, hence all the vehicles are falling to bits. Um, so the first one you want to consider here would be the Tro Tro. The Tro Tro is sort of like the, the workhorse of getting around Ghana. Uh, it's just a minibus, it's a clapped out old minibus, holds sort of eight to ten people. Um, there's a driver and a jockey, the jockey collects the money and puts people in their seats and it just drives up and down the, the, the roads all day, all roads all day, pretty much into the night as well. So, And they're really cheap, they're really cheap, they're really rustic, there's no air conditioning, they rattle, they smell, uh, they're chock-a-block and they're great fun, but yeah, they, get every, they just move people around constantly. Oh, he's going to squeeze in. Sure, I like very simple. Talk about taxis. Taxis are the second probably most common way of getting around. They're small little um, like things like the size of a Toyota Yaris or that type of uh, ilk of car. Um, some are not too bad, some are pretty broken. Um, they're a lot more expensive than the Tro Tro. They're probably uh, could be five or six times more expensive, so they're, they're not as economical, a little bit more comfortable, uh, and they get you where you want to go. They don't stop, they'll take you directly where you need to go, whereas the Tro Tro sort of stops and picks up and drops off wherever someone's on the side of the road. So, uh, but taxis are good, they're reliable, and um, yeah, a little bit, serve a little bit more comfort if you want to pay that bit extra. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have cross. That goes. Parking. <laughs> I like that. Crazy. What's really common here is the motorbike. Now, they don't seem to work under any sort of scheme here. It's just guys on motorbikes that just 
drive up and down the road, always taking someone somewhere. You just hail them from wherever you are. Uh, I found the guys really, really safe and really competent bike riders, given the conditions are pretty ordinary. Uh, they're very cheap, and it is a hell of a lot of fun uh, to be on the back of the motorbike cruising around here. It's, everything's, I mean, everything goes slow. Uh, the transport here is very slow, but the motorbikes are ultra cheap. Um, you know, just a couple of CDs here and there um, to get from point A to point B. So extremely cheap, very liable, and yeah, they're safe. I, I haven't seen um, uh, anyone on the ground with one of the motorbikes. He's actively around, but not a lot. Yeah, so all the roadside cellars are closed, which usually open, but uh, by midday everyone will be open and everyone doing their thing. Fascinating the motorbikes around here. Um, get everywhere where they, everyone really wanted to go, which is really, really good. They're everywhere. Cheap way of getting around. Fourth choice for transport in Ghana would be the the uh, Pragia, which is essentially a tuk-tuk, um, little yellow things that putt around on three wheels, little motorbike type thing. I'm not sure where they're coming from. I think there might be an Indian version of a um, of a tuk-tuk, not too dissimilar to the ones we see in Asia, but um, they are a lot of fun. They don't go very fast. They stick to the uh, the bitumen roads close to the, with all the market centres. They don't go on the dirt roads at all, um, but they are slow. They're open air and they are a lot of fun and they're extremely cheap. So um, look out for those when you're here and uh, yeah, if you get an opportunity to have a ride on one, grab it, they're terrific. Breakfast for us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah